Hey, it's Darnell with the D Grill, and I've got myself a couple of Butterball whole turkey breasts, two of them, and uh, they're both about five pounds each. I'm going to be putting these on the rotisserie on my Weber Genesis 2 E310 propane gas grill. Also got myself some uh, fire and flavor turkey perfect apple and sage, uh, apple sage brine mix I'm going to be brining them in. And basically these have been in the refrigerator for about three days, um, thawing out because they came frozen. And basically I'm going to be getting these into the brine mix. And basically when I bring you back, these will be coming out of the brine mix and getting ready to get on a rotisserie. And I'll be showing you how to do that. If you haven't seen me go through the entire complete process of setting up the brine and all the details of that, you can see my other turkey cook video about all the details of that but I'm just going to go straight from uh, what you're seeing here to showing you these coming out of the brine later. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel please be sure to subscribe turn the notification bell on. This channel needs all the subscribers that it can get so if you're liking the cooks here go ahead and subscribe and uh, I'll bring you back a little later. All right, so it's a bit later in the day. You're supposed to do like an hour a pound. It's been probably a bit longer than five hours, but uh, long enough. So <clears throat> basically gonna get these turkey breasts out of the brine, get them wiped off, and uh, see how they look. See if I see anything dangling that needs to be trussed, or if not, just get them on the spits. I'm going to put them, you're supposed to, you know, usually put meat on a spit facing the same way. But I'm going to put these with the open end facing the spit so I can get those spits hooked in. And they won't be flopping around on that open end. And from what I'm seeing here, I'm just going to, let's see. Some of this might, might come off and start flopping around a little bit on there. I'm going to just try and truss it to keep it tight. And just get them out and uh, get this one padded off a little bit with some towel. Let's get some of the gook off of them a little bit. Looks kind of like a brain, like a giant brain. <laughs> Alright, so I've got these two turkeys trussed. I basically um, I basically wrapped some around the uh, this way and then wrapped some around the other way lengthwise. So, you know, got a few widthwise and a big one kind of lengthwise to kind of try and tie everything that was looking kind of loose or jiggly and might come apart put in. Now I'm going to put these on the spits. Like I said, I'm putting the open end towards the spit to uh, try to keep anything from flopping. If I had them stuffed, it probably would work out okay to have them both facing the same way, but I know if I have them uh, not into these spits, they're going to flop around and I don't want them flopping around at all. Alright, so I've got these two turkeys uh, in the, in the uh, rod now and spits. I'm going to go out and start getting the grill warmed up and then come stick on the grill. Okay, so we're out here at the grill. I've basically got my uh, drip pan there to try and hold everything. I've got the iGirl 3 Ambient Pro back there, but I'm not going to be relying on that. That's just to, you know, let me know something. Because that temperature is going to be way higher than what it actually is going to be in here. But I'm going to be cooking at 350 degrees. Um, I'll have the two outside burners on until I feel a need to turn the middle burner on and get that involved. Um, also... I'm going to basically get things started and I'll talk to you about the weather forecast and such. 
just going to get it warmed up and then once the temp is right I'll be showing you when I put the turkey breast on. Actually I should have turned those on one two three instead of one three two but anyway. I'm going to get the uh, weather forecast up. I will say you know it's like f almost 5 30 p.m. It'll probably be dark in like 30 minutes or so so this is going to be a night mostly a night cook and it's going to start getting colder so that's why we're going to cook it 350 and try and get it done uh, kind of sooner and not be out here too late but basically right now the temperature conditions right now are mostly sunny with 52 degrees Fahrenheit real fear 55 percent humidity 34 percent and wind speed is zero so that's nice so gonna let it warm up and I'll bring you on back when I'm putting the turkeys on okay I'm gonna go grab that turkey and all well, those turkey breasts those two turkey breasts and after I get them on here and spinning, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start uh, rubbing some olive oil on them. And I'm also going to shake on some of this uh, poultry seasoning that I have. And it's uh, extra virgin olive oil that I'll use, but if you have virgin, that's cool too. But let me go get those turkey breasts and I'll be right back. Alright, got those turkeys. Got to be putting them on now. Alright, got them on there good. Things are spinning when I do a spin test. The things are spinning when I do the spin test. Now I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, oil and such put on them. The, the clearance at the bottom is super low. I mean, if these had legs, this would not work. If these were whole turkeys, I, I doubt I could get them on here. I've decided, you know, I'm just not going to put anything on my meats when I'm rotisserie until I got them on the uh, rotisserie spinning. It's just so much easier than trying to do it any kind of way in the house. It's much easier now. If anybody has an E310 and you're using uh, four spits instead of just two, uh, you can let me know in a comment. That'd be kind of helpful. I'm wondering, I mean, it'd be kind of tight with trying to have four spits, but I'm wondering if it would actually work, although the folks at Weber are not uh, endorsing having four spits. They're only for having two spits on the 310. They're good with you having four spits on the 410 or higher. That would be a four burner. For it to come around a little more, just wait for it. All right. Now I'm going to close it up. I'm just going to leave them set for about an hour. I'll check them in about an hour, see how they're doing. I'll just do what I have to do with the knobs to keep things uh, at a good 350 or so. So I'm just going to turn these up. I'll bring you back in a bit, uh, about an hour from now. Okay, it's been a little over an hour. <clears throat> I did have to turn on that middle burner to keep the temp at about 350. And uh, let's see what we can see now. Alright, let's go spinning around in there. I have my belt that um, things are close to done, but I'm just going to stop and check the temp in one uh, just to see. You can see it's um, kind of hitting the bottom there. It can spin around. It's kind of hitting it. And actually, when I stop the rotisserie, the weight is. Looks like things are moving around a little bit. The temp is. Uh in the 120s, 130s, 
I'm just doubting that it's all the way done, but we'll see how far it goes before things stop. And it's going up pretty far, further than I expected. At 144, I'm gonna go grab, I'm gonna go melt some butter real quick. 145. I'm gonna go melt some butter real quick and uh, slather it on there. These are getting closer to done. But basically, if I have two spit, uh, one turkey breast and two spits in it, I probably wouldn't have that problem of that one kind of hitting the bottom a little bit as it spins around and all that and whatnot. But uh, it is what it is, and I think it'll be okay. So I'll bring it back when I'm throwing some butter on them. All right, gonna open up and slather on some butter. This one, although he's flopping around a little bit, I don't see him hitting the bottom at all. But this one on this other side is uh, is hitting the bottom a little bit. Kind of gives you an indication how uh, short the clearance is. The thing is spinning around, but also has to do with the turkey breast not being, I guess, uh, secured on a spit on the other side either. Close it up and give it probably about another 30 minutes and uh, Lord willing we'll be done. Okay, it's a little over 30 minutes later but actually it's been almost two hours um, I guess with the time taken with butter and whatnot like that. It's been uh, about almost two hours of cooking. So let's see what we have here. Just gonna stick the uh, stove back in this one here. Let's see where that temp goes. I'm gonna close it up while it's going up. I'm gonna let it out of here it's getting pretty cold make sure that uh, might need to make sure that probes in there good I'm really suspicious that it's done but if it's not it's not Hmm, maybe not. I thought we'd be done now, but uh, the temp is holding good, so I'm going to let it go for a while longer. Alright, it's been another 30 minutes, almost two and a half hours total, but since I'm cooking two turkey breasts instead of just one, I don't feel bad about that time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get it opened up. And uh, stop it once this one gets a little higher. Check it out. Let me make sure I get in the meat to it. Alright, it's good and done. I'm going to try the other one also.
Yeah, he's done too. All right, I'm gonna take him on in. I'll meet you inside. Okay, so our smoked and brined turkey breasts are all done. So I'm going to uh, cut one open here. Guess I want to try and get into that bigger one because it looks bigger. <laughs> I'm going to get all this uh, cooking twine undone. I think that went uh, fairly well. Fairly well, but it did uh, prove to me beyond a shadow of a doubt that you can't go any bigger. You can't do a whole turkey on the rotisserie for sure unless you uh, I don't know. Bind it up to a point that it's got a smaller width than a regular turkey. <laughs> but uh, the rotisserie does work good for everything I've put on it so far. You know, chicken, ribs, um, now turkey breast. If you haven't seen any of those other rotisserie cooks, you definitely want to go back and see those. I will be, um, as I mentioned in that ribs video, doing some ribs again sometime for sure um, I'm just gonna see if I can cut this off here now then get all the string out yeah I believe so all right let me uh, hold that up to the camera Alright, let me get my plate. Just gonna put that on my plate there where you can see it. I'm just gonna just cut it down to a couple of bite size ones to taste test on. I guess I'll just cut on through them all. Make them all kind of bite size. Alright, now I'm going to just get that camera adjusted and we'll have our taste test. Alright, so there's rotisserie turkey breast there, brined rotisserie turkey breast. So let's check out how this tastes. That's a very good turkey breast. You know, um, I could have sat there and just ate through that whole plate of meat, whole plate of meat there, because it's good. Um, I will say, you know, this brine and the rotisserie and all tastes very good. Very good turkey breast. I will say, in all honesty, the turkey breast I did just before Thanksgiving, the whole one where I smoked it, and uh, also brine that one. That one tastes a little bit. Uh, moister and tastier juice just a little bit more moist to taste this one's good this one's real good i mean this is i recommend doing this and trying this it's good but that one that i did that was smoked and uh brined and smoked if you haven't seen that video the one that i brined and smoked that one tasted just a little bit better just a little bit better this one's great you know i could give this to anybody and they'd love it but if you tasted that other one you'd say well this one they're both good but that one's just a little bit better just a tiny bit so um, they're both great you know I can go either way as far as which one you know to eat whenever but uh, you know interestingly enough and maybe it was the smoke factor that one that was smoked and brined is just a little better and I think I don't know maybe you know maybe it was something about it it was very moist that one was very moist too this one's moist of course but that one was like butter moist you know this one is like butter almost you know moist but not as moist as that other one and not as good as that other one so I'll say for the best you'd have to smoke brine that turkey get the absolute best one you want the rotisserie comes in second though and it's good it stands good on its own so uh, if you like this video give it a thumbs up share the video with your friends subscribe to the channel and good eating